If you haven't already, I ask you guys to check out the Street Humans Kickstarter, my own action figure line. We have two figures available now, and hopefully we have more if we hit those stretch goals. Link is in the description below. Unboxing! Yeah. Hey! What's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here. A little bit of a bright light on my face right there, dimming it down. Doing another unboxing video with the beanie on. Haven't done an unboxing video with the beanie on in quite a bit, but I got my dope-ass horror business this, this shirt on over here. Quick announcement. Like, first off, we got a whole bunch of stuff to unbox over here. I got three boxes, a huge McFarlane Toys box over here. I'm going to unbox in a second. Just said unbox all the times. McFarlane inspired spider-man from toy biz the superposable mcfarland spider-man slash j scott campbell spider-man giveaway is coming up this thursday i believe the 26th what? if i remember right the 26th 6 p.m pacific time 9 p.m eastern time come through i'm also auctioning some figures that all start at a dollar it is a buyer's market. I just did another whatnot stream this past Thursday and sold a whole bunch of stuff really, really cheap. So come on through. It's in your favor. You don't have to pay to enter the giveaway. I've gotten incredible reviews from these streams, and I just want to thank Whatnot again for making these possible because it is awesome. So McFarlane Spider-Man, that's a grail figure. And I want you guys to have one, so we, we have that giveaway coming up this Thursday. Let's get to some unboxing, and we got some McFarlane stuff that we're going to open up soon. we got this package right over here from Walmart. I think I know what this is. By the way, I've been playing the Spider-Man two game on my ps5 and holy crap what an incredible game i'm having so much fun but damn all right that was so fast uh big thanks x many 87 i almost missed out on this figure completely and we got the cobra range viper look how dope that looks man i mean i wish there was a window but we'll get those back soon enough with the classified uh, did they ever start well, yeah they did start with windows well i'm an idiot or something yeah maybe but yeah it's hard to keep track of everything a lot of stuff going on in my world right now and this is very cool looking as far as all those accessories look at that it's a lot of cool stuff right there man hell yes so very happy to have this can't wait to open this right here put that in the box and then got another package uh which i don't know where this is from exactly is it target uh, i'm not sure didn't say or i ripped off the shipping label so i don't know what it is and another G oh this is from hasbro pulse this is the extra set that i unintentionally ordered see it happens um i may keep both to army build i may not but yeah uh we have the steel core troopers right over here and they do look awesome and damn yeah i don't know i don't know if i can get rid of this or not i like these i like how they look and everything man so we'll see i love these effects and everything i don't know it's like army building it's just getting two sets i may sell that extra set on whatnot starting at a dollar just like everything else so stay tuned for that and then uh also if you have not backed the street humans kickstarter gotta ask you guys to check it out uh, i've been doing a lot of live streams i want to thank everybody uh that's been hosting me on their channels i just did one with wade from unparalleled universe last night that was a really fun one to do this is exceptionally interesting for me to do that one because he just had his kickstarter success and everything and mad respect to wade holy crap you know like i said dude the the respect levels for going through all that and doing it's just insane to me uh how, how you know the, the whole process is nuts and, uh, and you know, I, I love that, you know, I'm getting so much support and I'm just really, really grateful for it. All right. What is inside here? Is it going to be a Wonder Woman? Because this is the Wonder Woman figure I've had on my McFarlane Toys shelf. I want that classic Wonder Woman that they just posted today. That looks so freaking sick, doesn't it? The classic Wonder Woman looks amazing. So I just had to talk about that really fast before I opened this one. Uh, big thanks to McFarlane Toys for sending out the samples my way. Hopefully there's a Wonder Woman in here. I don't know. We'll see. But, oh, wow. Okay. Whole bunch of goodies in here. Dang. All right. I'm going to put this down. Some stuff here I haven't seen before. And then we have a lot of brown box stuff. And, ooh, I have not seen this before. Here is Reaper. Damn. That looks cool. Look at that. 
I, I guess they may have announced these I, again. I'm I have been very busy, so some of these they may have announced, and I just didn't see. What the hell? This is Disruptor. Wow. Oh, these look great. I have a whole spawn shelf that you can see right over there. So I would. Lo I'm looking forward to adding these to the shelf. Look at that. Oh, that looks great. That head sculpt is amazing. Is this a variant right here? It looks like it might be a variant disruptor. Oh, and a different color scheme. Yeah, we have a variant right here. Wow. All right. Did not see these coming. Okay, then uh, we got a Batman. Oh, cool. All right. Which Batman is this? Is this Hush Batman? Is this a Hush? Yes, it is Hush Batman. Okay, so instead of the blue Hush Batman, it's a... The black suited Hush Batman. Very cool. Hush Batman variant. And then the rest of these are in boxes and stuff. So what's the... Oh, this is just padding. There's nothing in that one. Uh, but... Oh, wow. Oh, a pla uh, the Patina Edition Cygor. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so interested in opening this one right now. Jeez, should I do it? Should I open oh, the Patina Edition Cygor? Oh my gosh. All right. I may open this now. I may open it later. Let's see. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, and they have Redeemer. Glow in the Dark Edition Redeemer. Okay. Damn. The Glow in the Dark stuff I'm a huge sucker for. I, I, I got to open this one right now. Right away. We got to at least take a look. We're not going to see how the Glow in the Dark feature functions, but we're opening this one immediately because I want to know what they did with this. Uh, the glow in the dark wings is what I'm hoping for. That's what they probably have done. I'm not 100% sure. Whoa! Oh, it looks like the whole all the gold stuff is going to be glow in the dark, and then the wings are in the in the back right here. Okay. Wow. So I got to see how that works. I'm going to try to post a photo afterwards so you guys could see. But uh, yeah, I'll show that. I'll, I'll post a photo. Uh, I'm obviously editing this video because, you know, I drew in that Wonder Woman picture. And then what do we have right here? Seven inch Joker. Oh, the three. This is a, oh, are these the artist proof black and white? Uh, so, yeah, we got a mailer right here. So a lot of these are all in mailers, which is kind of a trip to see. So I'm not used to that. But let's go ahead and crack it open. These are all special editions over here or variants of some kind or another. Oh, wow. The Three Jokers, classic Batman Three Jokers, black and white accent edition. Okay, so these are artist-proof figures. Damn, but there's no, like, oh, and it's a BBTS exclusive. Okay, so, yeah. You could, I'll throw up a picture of how that looks right there. Damn, I may do a review of all these other sealed figures at once, like how I'd done last time. You guys remember when I did that? This one's the uh, Bat Line Art Gold Label Edition Batman. Let's see here. So the packaging for these, they don't really reveal the figures themselves. They're all wrapped, right? Oh no, this one you can see it, nice. Okay, there we go, cool. I like having the windows so I can see. Very nice, very, very cool. Awesome. And then we have this one right here, the, the Comedian Joker. Okay, so that's probably gonna have the same kind of closed uh, back, Batman, so that you have this, the uh, Tres Leches Jokers. I keep saying that in my head every time I see, like, the three Jokers. I'm like, oh, okay, the Tres Leches Jokers. There you go. The three Jokers. Right on. Oh, man, those are sweet. And then we have, uh, oh, this is the New York Comic Con exclusive right here, which I didn't really pick up anything at all. I, I picked, up, picked up a couple plushies for my kids, but I was mostly at New York Comic Con plugging Street Humans, which by the way, if you haven't backed it, please go ahead and back Street Humans right, whoa, whoa, whoa. wow. Oh, okay. This is, yeah, the Batman of Zur and R, but Blacklight Edition. Oh, sweet. Oh man, I got it. I gotta do a video at least showing this off somehow. I love the Blacklight stuff. Then what else we got over here? What else we got over here? And then we have the Patina Gold Label Edition. All right. I got to do a video showing off, you know, these figures. Oh, no. Batman fell over. Damn it. And then these uh, these Patina Editions tripped me out. Oh! Oh, sweet. Damn. Paul. Yeah. Merciless. Oh, this looks so sick. Yeah. Paul Lutz 
shout out Paul Lutz. He was showing me this one. And I was like, oh, no way. That that looks so badass. Okay, I'm opening this one up right now. I got to see this one. This one I'm definitely hanging on to. Definitely got to see. So get this out of the plastic right here. This is a McFarlane Toy Store exclusive. Only 5,700 pieces. So we're opening up this one right now for sure. Let's get this out of the box. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That looks awesome. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, man. Oh, that is sick. Damn, that looks so badass. These patina editions, like they, they look so sick to me. I gotta open. Damn it, the Cygor one. I'm I'm now I'm even more curious about the Cygor one. Let's un let's open up the Cygor one right now. Let, let's do that. I'll try to keep the package intact. I thought it was kind of funny. I was hoping for a Wonder Woman figure to be in there. Like they literally just announced it like minutes ago, man. So. Um, but yeah, let's see the reveal here. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, damn! Oh, this looks sick as hell! Oh, I'm so glad I just opened this. Damn! Oh, that is badass! Holy shit, that looks sick! Oh, man, no joke, man. This is a dope-ass looking version of Cygor. Oh, I'm so glad I just opened this. Wow! Oh, dude, I'm I'm sorry. I'm, yeah, this is definitely replacing the other one. Oh, man, look at that. Woo! Sliding out of the box right here. Got to be careful, but look at that. Damn, that looks so sick. Man. I am happy with how that looks. That has got to be the dopest one, man. I don't know. Like, the gold may not be comic accurate and everything, but it is so... I mean, it's like a bronze. It's an aged bronze color and i think it looks awesome and the added pink detail and everything on the rest of the figure looks really really good damn this one looks sick as hell wow look at that all right thank you so much mcfarlane toys thank you viewers for making all this stuff happen i really appreciate you guys again uh stay tuned i'm gonna see if i can get some pictures of the glow in the dark redeemer right over there uh thrown in here but yeah really appreciate it damn this is jeez these patina editions are so damn badass man all right thank you guys again for watching thanks to all of you that have been supporting street humans i really do appreciate it this has been a dream come true having my own figure line even getting to this point so freaking awesome you can see eon right over here you know with the hoodie and stuff so yeah these guys look freaking cool as hell i'm really happy with these street humans and i hope they get into your guys' hands at one point. So go ahead and back the project right now. Link is in the description below. Follow McFarlane Toys for the latest coming from them. And thank you guys again. I'll catch you later. Peace. Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.